YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy Young Gay back with another video. You already know what it is, man. Just gonna scroll through the internet, see what's going on for the day, like. But uh, earlier I was on my my bookie trying to put some bets in, man. They got some. I having some rollover issues. If y'all on my bookie, y'all know what that is, man. Refer friends and then rollover. It's crazy what they want you to bet for what they gave you, but. It is what it is, man. Let's see what's on my man. And I am using my new DJI, DJI, uh, iPhone mic. I like it. I like it. I was watching some electrical videos earlier, too. Making sure I sharpen my skills. Let's go home, though, and see what's popping. Hmm. I know everybody has seen that Cat Williams um, with uh, Shannon Sharp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's funny right there. Cat Williams is saying some stuff. What y'all think about that? I know y'all probably already commented on that and stuff, but that was crazy. Did the Bills win? I think, yeah, the Bills won. Cat breaking the internet, though, with that. Hey, it's some videos of him running or something. Cat William, what is this? If you don't consistently make flush contact and you're not as accurate as you'd like, then you need to stop what you're doing. Footage has emerged of Cat William uh, uh, claim that he can run a sub four, five, 40 yard dash. Now, he came on Club Shay Shay and yeah. said, you know, <laughs> he can run, you know, he, can, he, he athletic. He talk about he shooting hoop. So he played like 10 games a day. <laughs> he say, you know, he, he box, he lift a little, you know, he do push-ups and sit-ups and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they had him on the basketball court. And it looked like he looked like he moving pretty good. I mean, he, he, moved, he, he moved pretty good. But, man, that wasn't no goddamn popo. Come on now. Man, who, what kind of, hey, stop playing. But I, if I, hold on. How long, is a, how long is the side of a basketball court? Wow. I don't think it's 40 yards. You don't think so? No, hell no. That's no, you know, look at just looking at the video. That's that's a long way. That's a little way, man. That's a little way. I don't think that's no four. I don't think that's no forty. Y'all. I know one thing. That wasn't no goddamn four four. He ain't that, <laughs> he ain't that much. <laughs> that ain't happening. Was that a four four, y'all? Man, cat that came up, kill up, shake, shake man. Man, everybody still talking about that old show. Yeah. That's, that's, ah, that's, 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 that's that's one for the record right there, man. Yeah, old show. That, that's one for the record. I'm talking about people that I would never ever think mm -hmm. would know anything about Club Shay Shay, know mm -hmm. anything about no cat weed. Right. I'm talking about white people in the airport. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say it. Hey, funny. Yeah. Man, I, I, oh, they, I, they, they gave you the thumbs like, up? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I mean, the pilot, I'm talking about every, I mean, the flight, I'm like, damn. Yeah. Uh, and my funny. sister was like, Man, I didn't know. I'm like hell. I didn't know either. Right. Nobody knew. He was talking about everybody Nobody too. Do something like that. Look, like I said, I, I've, I've been doing this now for three years. Yeah, that was funny. What else we got popping? Swiss Beats, Timberland, the rematch. Mm. I don't know about that. Ice Cube responded. Nicki Minaj, Joe Budden. That was two weeks ago, too. Uh, what we got? What we got? It ain't too much going on. Let's see what, what big. Big academics. Tumbo. Trying to look for that other page, though. Uh, seven hours ago, Meek Mill from Okay, let's see what they was talking about. Here, let's see. I'm going to give you a disclaimer that I, I can't say all these things are true, 
but this is crazy, chat. Watch this. It'll be something. And this, and this, when he said whatever driver his dumb ass came in right. Trey, stay there. Boom, boom, boom. All right, I'm blocking your vibes. When you can't block me, nigga. You I'm blocking your vibes. You ain't big enough, monkey. You only one of y'all. Let me turn the heat up real quick. Bro, cool out. Look what he told me. Look yeah, it's cold. To I got the heat on to it as well. It's free. Too much because it's gonna be something. Leave it there. It's I don't fuck cold. with you, nigga. Let's make it known. I said, look, I still was, I still was calm with him and shit, but that shit wasn't sitting well with me. I was like, damn, how we get to that point? You just said you went on that vibe. Did like, he get there like, fast? Like, cool. Best friend. Drug on the drugs, you call me a pussy. That shit is vibrating my brain, bro. My mental. How the fuck you calling a pussy? How you calling the nigga that took your fucking back? You calling me a pussy, bro? I slap niggas about you. You for fucking got? You have to forget. I did shit to people about you. Don't fucking forget that. You, you ain't never do no gangster street stuff in your life. You a fucking entertainer. You a rapper. You need to stay there. Don't act like you this dude that you not. I'm not saying that I would do something to you, me, but stop playing with me because you know my body, boy. Oh, All y'all do. All y'all do. I don't think it's not one person that don't. Ooh. Everybody that you met along your lines, bro, you talked about me. You talked about the shit that I did, nigga. You talked about the shit that my cousins did, nigga, not yours. What the fuck is wrong with you? Only one that's really official is pistol, nigga. And they don't even matter. And y'all know that with me already. And uh I'm trying to figure out like when you get the chest that to talk to me like that in that order, nigga. You know you from South Philly now, for real, for real. Now, no, nah, you know I was the last fucking um thread a uh, thread that you had the North Philly. You done. You done, dickhead. You played with me like the wrong way, bro. I don't even be playing that shit, bro. The fuck is wrong with you, me? Come in this live so we can talk. Now, we're going to talk about how the dream chaser shit, how all that shit was structured because ain't nobody scared of this nigga, Meek Mill. Meek did all jump in the line, too. Who is, who's the dream chaser? Yo, somebody named every dream chaser on this motherfucker joint right now so I can see this shit. So everybody do this shit. Because we're going to break this shit. The big AJ. Oh, matter of fact, AJ, you here? Oh, we need AJ on the line. Nah, we need we need AJ on the line. Let's get AJ on the line. Um, I, I haven't been in Discord in a minute. Hey, could somebody get the big AJ in here? I'm gonna definitely in Discord until he get in here, but let's keep it going. I need his commentary. Structure now. Dream chaser. Man, I would never, I would never take nobody to your label to try to get them to sign, bro. You ain't gonna do nothing but fuck them and spill they fucking shit, all they hooks and bridges and all that shit. They what? Beats. You gonna spill it and rob them and say you made that up? Man, you was a nut, nigga. I'd watch you my whole fucking life, nigga. I had to fucking take care of you and make sure nobody don't beat you up when we go to nine two three and dances and motherfucking headshot parties at motherfucking uh Y Y M C A and shit, nigga. I had to be there, nigga, to make sure nobody don't bully you, nigga. You cried on 22nd and she should be more back in the day, nigga. Done did it made you cry. Nigga, I haven't fucking give you motherfucking courage again. I had to tell you, oh, don't worry about that shit, bro. Get him up. Just get him back later and shit. Write some better shit. So fucking went. Woo. Play with me. Nigga, fuck is wrong with you? I made it safe. It'll for all you come out. 23rd Street, nigga. Or 24th Street. I made it safe for you to come up burps, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you, pussy? Calling me that. You lost your fucking mind, nigga. I stopped Reef from fucking you up, no matter if Reef was right now or not. I stopped him from fucking you up, and you know it. I stopped my cousins, I keep from fucking you up, and you know it. I stopped everybody from trying you, nigga. Why you keep taking up with bitch ass? Because that's my man, man. Because that's my man, man. And my life, if y'all from Burke Street, say y'all from Burke Street, y'all understand what I'm saying. If I'm saying anything that's a fucking lie, y'all better say it. But let me let me explain the dream chaser structure. The dream chaser structure. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't none. But all right, I had a job. I came home. I got a job from me, Lil. I was getting a few percentages and shit, but it was a lot. But it was cool. You feel me? Everybody had a problem with that. I came home, he tried to give me some money and shit. I ain't want no money. I wanted a motherfucking job. I wanted some shit that I could really make money every week. 
You feel me? Every other week. Yeah, because I ain't want to hustle and sell drugs no more and do that kind of shit no more. And he was saying that's what was going to happen and shit like that. He was in a better position. He is in a better position. We all going to get in a better position. Nobody got in a better position until after they got away from him. That nigga don't have nobody as a millionaire. Nobody. Ain't. Coon not with you no more. Coon and Phil not with you no more. They was your road managers, bro. They was your managers. I was the assistant manager. I am not with you no more. I was that for just a period of time, and I never had a role. I, I never I never had a role as assistant manager. It was just like that, bro. And I had to do everything they Hey, I'm going to pause it a, a few times. I, I could give you the links if you want to watch this without me giving any commentary. This is the problem when you see a rapper come in and they have a consortium of dudes. Yeah, and they got all eight people around and, you know, everything together. And if you don't help niggas or put niggas in a position, that, you know, most of the time, I don't know where to be, but it's always like that. We we know. Like, it always happens. Let me tell you this. I, I, I know these situations myself. When you bring, you when everybody say they put their hood on, they never tell you what they have put their hood on to do. Mm -hmm. Because you took someone from the hood and you brought them on tour, or you told them they could be on your bus, or you bought a plane ticket that they could go to one of your shows, you ain't put them on. And the reality of this is, is nobody could support a bunch of people without jobs. You got to earn your keep. Right? This whole thing where it be like, yeah, I got my whole hood with me. All right, for how long? Because you know what's going to happen? Your whole hood is going to soak up your paycheck. You're not getting paid. So you're going to be broke. You're going to be in debt. <laughs> the hardest you're back that deal money. <laughs> and everybody got to learn this. And anytime you see a nigga with a big entourage for too long, they ain't learning yet. Man, half of your niggas, they not business, man. Half of your niggas. They don't want to be disciplined. Half of your niggas actually thought that you were supposed to be here and you can't lose it. Half of your niggas don't realize what you had to do and how talented you got to be to be here. Now, I'm not saying this to pick any side between anybody, but here's the thing about when you have those people who just with you. Everybody has an opportunity. Now, it falls on the behalf, and I'm going to speak on this now, you do. Dean and me. If Meek was just giving you a check to be his friend, to be on the road and get lit and fuck bitches and have fun with him, that's his fault, partially because that can't last forever. But it's your fault as well, because if you get put around a situation with a bunch of millionaires and other hot rappers and you can't find a way to be useful, even if you're like, yo, I'm the guy who makes t-shirts. Yo, I can make some real good t-shirts for the shows. I want to be that guy. Hey, put me, yo, since you cool it, I want to be the t-shirt maker. But a lot of these dudes, they come up with you. When you went in Louis and you bought yourself an outfit for the night, you bought them one too because that's your man. Y'all used to struggle on the block together. They want to do everything you do but the work. They don't rap with you. They ain't right with you. They, you're going to perform. They think that them not all the time, though. Work. No, it's not. Sometimes they do, right? So what Hook. Dean is describing right, here shit. is a bunch of niggas with Meek Mill, except nobody got a job. Meek didn't give them a job. That's his fault too. But they also didn't assert themselves to get a job. Put it like this: You around Big Act? Let, let's use myself as an example. You around me all all the time? Nah, but he did say. He was selling the free uh, Meek Mills t-shirts. And Meek Mills stopped him. Like, oh, you out there making money off my name and all that. So he was trying to do them moves. So I don't know if this was before he heard that or after. I don't know. We're not going to go after, though. I'm, I'm interviewing artists, artists. I'm here, I'm there, I'm blah, blah, whatever. You tell me you can't find a skill that maybe you could... You could try to leverage me and work other ways. If you can't, I don't think you're somebody with a vision. Now, I'm going to be very fair to you. What you're going to hear Dean say is that they were trying to do that, and he feels we stopped them from it. Like, nah, like he didn't want them to do anything. That's what you're going to hear him say. But I had to just say generally... 
that's what happens the most cool. Let's keep going. By the way, there's a lot of tea on this side. Okay. We did. Whatever they told me to do, carry me bags. I had to carry the bags to the airport. No problem. I'll do that shit when we go tomorrow. Wake me up, cause they scared to. I'll wake him up. He ain't nobody he's scared of. Knock on his door. Okay. Uh what else? Alright, I'm going to the mall anyway. Meet me in t-shirt, socks, and boxes. I can get that. That's easy. That's jump part of my so now on my job is easy because these niggas are scared to teach anybody anything to let them niggas up. Them niggas don't want nobody to get ahead. Alright, cool. Nobody else had no position. Is nobody O'Melly was the only fucking artist that Dream Chasers had that was down and loyal to the Dream Chasers because it was my proxy. That was a fucking cousin. He ain't no he ain't no fucking choice. Then it was just lit. I don't even know why. But that girl, that girl, what the fuck is that girl? Like? Melly? That girl ain't had nothing. She was stressed out, dead crack, and couldn't figure it out. Yo, so she, she, um, she, um, she, um, did you call Melly? She was spread out, stressed out. They ain't doing nothing with nobody over there. Dream Chaser Records, man, that shit did. Uh, Top was a fugazi, fake ass AR, thinking he's down with anybody, thinking he's a street nigga. And all. Everybody keeps saying Lee Major, he's Lee Major. I'm going crazy. Oh, oh, that's the girl they're talking about. Okay, so this is before that. Well, that's an artist. Yeah, but if you want to watch the rest of that, 